Miami certainly has a way of enchanting you, and it may have something to do with what's below the surface. Known as one of the best diving spots in the U.S., I'm going to be exploring South Florida by sea. The Southeast Florida Reef Track extends from Miami all the way to Palm Beach. And with the Gulf Stream flowing super close to the shoreline, you don't need to venture far from the beaches to explore natural reefs, man-made wrecks, and the vibrant ocean life. Hey, Joe. Hey, nice Happy to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me more about what you do here at South Florida Diving Headquarters. Our company mission is to make diving more accessible to all different skill levels. We have snorkeling, we have shallow dives, we have deep wrecks out here that we dive on. And if you don't want to get your hair wet, we got a glass bottom. You can watch all the action right from the surface. So Jeff, what are we doing today? Today we're going to do an area called the nursery. It's actually nicknamed that for nurse sharks that actually live there. We've been kind of seeing for the last 15 years here. Okay. And then we're going to go to the wreck of the SS Copenhagen that went down in 1900. Does he go scuba diving around a real shipwreck. A, a real shipwreck. And sharks. A lot of people don't realize that they have such a great opportunity for snorkeling and diving off Miami Beach. You can do an experience dive in one day. You get in a pool in the morning, you're out diving on a coral reef in the afternoon. All right, off to the pool. So let's start with a little scuba 101. Let's saddle up. Gravity is taking oh, effect. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, I want you guys to put your faces in the water and make sure not to breathe through your nose. Put your face all the way in. Breathing through this outside of water is really hard, but once you're submerged, like underwater with this, everything is weightless and it's way easier. We are ready to get on the boat. I'm actually a little nervous. I got the hang of it in the pool, but I think it's going to be so different in the ocean. And after a few final safety adjustments, we're ready to dive. You're going to look out to the horizon, and you're just going to walk right off. Ready? One, two, three. Then just kick back, enjoy your buoyancy and the view that's all around you. When we were down by the wreck, there was a sign that said USS Copenhagen and it said all the details. SS Copenhagen went down in 1900. It was a steamship that left Pennsylvania for Havana. The ships used to come in close to avoid the strong currents of the Gulf Stream. And when the captain did, he ran aground. And there it stood until World War II out of the water when we bombed the structure off of it to keep the U-boats from hiding behind it. And then we see the sharks. Life under the sea is an assault on the senses. It's time for this land lover to surface. This is a new hobby for sure. I love it. Better down under. It's better down under. Thank you so much, Jeff. I had such an amazing experience, and I can't believe this is all off the coast of Miami. It's incredible, isn't it? Miami may be known for its nightlife, but after a submerged afternoon, this city will forever be known for its underwater life as well.